It's Marissa with the Umbrian Sewist. Thanks for joining me today. Today is a video where I tell you what I've been up to for these last couple of weeks. I think the last video I recorded was at least two weeks ago. And um, I've been busy sewing. As you can tell by the title of this video, I have essentially sewn 30 items, 29 garments, one bag in the last, I would say two and a half weeks. Now, I was debating whether to do any sort of video on this because I would say they're not the most exciting makes. Um, these are probably 60% of these are for my son and 40% are for me and they're all sort of basics in terms of clothing items. I would say Jersey basics. Um, uh, several weeks ago, I sort of had a panic when I realized that I don't think my son has a single pair of pants. I don't have holes in the knees that have been patched. And most of them have been patched multiple times. Um, so I thought, hmm, it's probably time to make him some new pants. And also, we're going away for a little Easter break. We're driving south um, to the where the region of Campania and Basilicata meet, um, right on the coast. Basilicata have a very small sliver section um, with the ocean. So we're gonna spend um, sort of four nights in two different locations, one in Campania and then one across into Basilicata on the beach. And then we're gonna go inland to a place called Castel Mezzano, which is, a beautiful um, town sort of built into the side of the jiggity jaggedy mountains or hills, mountains. Um, and then we're finishing off with two nights in Matera. And Matera is known for um, basically people um, used to live in caves, essentially. Now you can stay at a hotel where your room is in a cave. And that is what we are doing. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is I realized that if I didn't want my son to look extremely scruffy, I needed to make him some new clothes. And then I realized as well that I only had a couple of short sleeve shirts and then the whole sewing of 29 garments happened. So I'm gonna go through what I made rather quickly. I apologize, I haven't done any photographs. I really have been pretty rubbish at preparing for this video, but Basically, I, I need to get these items like put in drawers and things because um, they're all sort of stacked here on my table. And also we are leaving in just a couple of days. So this will probably be the last video for a couple of weeks uh, because I will be gone for about eight nights. So apologies. Um, I will start off with the items for my son. Now, I made him several long sleeve and short sleeve shirts in this pattern. Now, made by me patterns, if you haven't heard of them, are fantastic patterns for children. Um, and the woman who um, designs these patterns just started bringing out sort of these junior um, items, which are, or ju junior patterns, which are for ages 16 to or six to 14, um, which is fantastic. So one of the first one uh, patterns I think was this junior t-shirt. And it is just a very basic t-shirt pattern. You can do long sleeve, short sleeve. Um, and so I made a number of those for my son. So I will show them to you. Um, I will, where possible, list the fabric. Um, but if I don't, it's because I have no idea where I got it from. So the first is this rather cool sort of mustardy print with all of these sort of police and emergency vehicles. And I thought that was quite a fun print. I've had it in my stash for a while. And so that is a long sleeve shirt for him. I'm just going to chuck those over there. The next one is a, another long sleeve shirt in his favorite color, which is bright orange. And I used a bunch of different tags that I have in my stash. Now, the cool thing is all of this fabric was in my stash. I didn't buy anything special for making these. And um, so that's quite cool. So I've used quite a lot of fabric. So yeah, that's a nice orange I've had for a while. And it's a nice long sleeve shirt for him. This is super cool um, fabric with um, basically surfers. Pretty sure that's a surfer. Yes, it is a surfer. Quite a fun print, gorgeous fabric. Um, 
and I made him a long sleeve shirt in that one and I actually made a short sleeve one as well. The next is short sleeve. So those were all long sleeve. Then I've got a red. I've got an orange because I had more of the fabric. I've got this very cool soccer print because my son is quite a soccer player and he likes soccer. I made another one out of this very cool surfer print. Um, and then I had some of this left, this nice fabric. This was from Ikati quite a long time ago. I made my son a long sleeve shirt out of it. The fabric has washed really well and I had a little bit left to make a t-shirt. And the final t-shirt is this really fun um, sort of car fabric with stripes. Now, I do know I got this fabric and the initial police vehicle fabric from Self Made, which used to be called Soft Stop and Still, and they may still have it. So I will link anything below that I can find. Okay, so the next item is this absolutely lovely sort of waffle print with cheetahs. Now, this particular pattern is the Explorer Raglan by Waves and Wild t-shirt. It's a newborn to age 12, fantastic pattern. Um, I wanted to make it like more of a sweatshirt, so I drafted my own cuffs and hemband and voila. It is a sort of sweatshirt. It looks ginormous. My son is getting big. They grow too fast. Um, and then I did the same thing with this one. So again, these are all actually pieces of sort of, I pieces of fabric I've used for other things before. So this particular fabric is quite cool. It's got a, the, it's a, it's a French terry, but the other side is a different color, but, um, and he loved, my son loves orange. So I used some red, orange ribbing. And again, that's like a sweatshirt. And then the last pattern is this lovely pattern. It's called the Salt Air Cardigan. It is definitely an oversized cardigan. It's by Waves and Wild. Newborn to 12, as are most of their pattern. You can see here it is rather oversized, which isn't a bad thing. It's just that I was surprised. I was like, oh gosh, when I first made it for him. I did make this before, um, and it was quite oversized, but before I made this next one, I tried it on him and um, it is oversized but it looks the right size if that makes sense. So I just made him a nice simple gray um, to go with sort of pattern shirts essentially. Um, but I thought he's not a huge fan of hoodies so I thought this would be a nice um, sort of layering piece. It's made in this beautiful French terry, really good quality. This is from a Polish fabric store, a link below. Um, but yeah, the only negative is when I top stitched, it's quite wavy. I'm hoping like when I wash it and dry it, that will go away. I used some um, sort of these clear buttons in my stash and hopefully that will work well for him. As I said, I'm breezing through because I've made quite a few things. So the next section is five pairs of Runberry joggers. This is a Sinclair pattern. Um, this is the, um, they do different, they call them body types. So they do regular and slim. Now I would say the regular is quite slim. My son is slim. So if I'd made the slim, that would be problematic. This goes from a height of 31 and a half inches to 64.6 inches. And I just went with the very standard, no, none of this sort of side, this side stuff, but just the front and the back, no pockets, very simple. And again, my goal was just to sort of use things up that I had. So this is that um, fabric, that sort of French terry. It's incredibly soft. So he could have a matching sweatsuit, you know, with the sweatshirt if he wanted. So that's the first pair. Second pair is this sort of baby blue, which is a French terry, um, which I thought was a nice color for spring. Um, and then the next one I got in a cartoon fabric haul that I did. It's a what they call like a summer weight um, fleece. So it's quite a thin fleece, but it's that fleecy softness on the back. And I bought the matching ribbing. And so that's the next one. And I also bought that in red. So if you wanna learn about that, you can see that video, but 
nice bright red. And then the last one is a lovely blue French terry that I had left over. So that is everything for my son. So yeah, lots of basics, but essentially that is what he wears. He does have quite a lot of sweatshirts and sweaters that I've made him. He has, doesn't get as much wear out of those because his classroom at school is very hot. So typically he only wears like one layer to school. So all the sort of sweatshirts and things are in really great condition. So lots of basics for him. So that was what everything I made for my son. Next up, stuff for myself. So the first thing is the only non-garment item. Now, if you had seen my plans for February and March, I plan to make lots of shirts and lots of bags. I made shirts and I made bags, but I wouldn't say I made lots. I definitely oh, was a little overly ambitious with what I thought I would make, but I did make the um, Fifth Avenue fanny pack, bum bag, whatever you want to call it, um, by Sally Tomato. It's a free pattern. Um, I talked about it in a video I did on free bag patterns and I got it made up. So here it is. So it is um, a sort of curved pattern. You've got two pleats here to kind of give it like a sort of 3D effect. Um, I will make a couple of comments on this. First of all, I think it's too small. I think it's too small for the size of the ribbing. So for example, if I was to make this again, I probably would make this bigger and I might even go down from one and a quarter inch um, webbing to one inch. Um, I used this super pretty zipper pull with the bees because the inside has this lovely um, cotton and steel bee fabric, which I have been using for loads of things because I've got lots of bits. It's got an internal pocket. I really like how Sally Tomato does a sort of tutorial on how you can bag out the bag through the pocket. So you don't have like in the bottom those, um, you know, like the, the stitching lines. You actually have that inside the pocket, which is cool. Um, it is actually like a nice size if you want to just put a wallet and a phone. I tend to wear mine like this. Um, so it is quite nice. I shall show you a bit better. Um, so it is, yeah, it's quite nice. I think it could be a little bit bigger. Like I said, I think the size of the webbing is too big for the size of the bag. Anyone who's interested in wearing the Sinclair pattern half Morgan half zip sweatshirt, that is what I'm wearing. But yeah, super pleased with it. Um, it was a nice construction, very simple to put together. And for a free pattern, I thought it was fantastic. Like I said, next time I probably will um, make it a bit bigger. But there's so many bags to make. Why make the same one again? But yeah, so highly recommend that. Really nice pattern. Okay, now on to the things that I made for myself. So let me get myself organized here. So the first thing that I made is the Deer and Doe Plantain Tea. I made three of these. Um, this is a lovely pattern. It does not have a huge size range. Now I have had mine printed for ages, so maybe they've, um, made the size range larger. Um, the pattern that I have here goes from a 34 to a 52, which is bust of 31 and a half going up to a bust of 45 and five eighths, waist 23 and a half up to a waist of 37 and three quarters, hip 33 and three quarters, going to a hip of 48. Now I actually believe that I make the largest size um, on this, uh, which I can't say for sure because, let's see. No, I make the 50, so I make one from the, the largest size. Um, but I wanted to make these, I, what I really like about this is it's a bit longer. So it's, it's not like a t-shirt length, it's longer. So I think this is a perfect length for things like leggings. So I had some funky colored um, leggings that I made and I didn't really have any t-shirts. So in the summer when I go out hiking, which I like to do, I didn't have any like shirts to wear with them. So I have a bunch of fabric that I got probably four years ago from the US. I think I got it from Fashion Fabrics Club or Fabric Mart, one of those two. And they had Polar Tech 
like um, brand, um, but the thin sort of hiking stuff. And so I decided, to, and I bought loads of it. So I decided to make myself plantain t-shirts and cut them off to t-shirts because of course the pattern is long sleeve. So this is the first one. It's a nice, um, super thin, you can kind of see through it. Um, very nice green color. So yeah, you can see through it. So you can imagine for hiking, that would be super nice. Um, I also made one in this really cool sort of bluey tealy color, which has this um, sort of pattern on it. It looks meshy, but again, nice and breathable and thin. And then the last one is a similar color, similar blue. You can see here, it's kind of an interesting one. It's got like this furry lines and then in between it's sort of meshy, which you can see as you can see through here. And yeah, I made them all into t-shirts and I think those will look really nice and also be comfortable for when I go hiking. And I hope to wear one of those tomorrow when I go out for a nice walk. So the next um, two items are the Jessie T. This is a free pattern by True Bias. All you have to do is sign up for the newsletter. This comes in a really good size range. I just printed, I think it comes in two size ranges. I printed the zero to 18, but I believe it comes into like an 18 to 32 or 34. And I made two, I made one in a very simple white. Um, I bought this specially to make a white t-shirt from Katoon. You can see the fabric all below. Um, so I, I had the perfect amount to make that. And then this is a lovely blue um, cotton jersey. That The white was a cotton jersey as well um, that I picked up when I was in the U.S. So very simple, but um, really nice colors to go hopefully with lots of things. Now the last, no, that's a lie. It's not the last. I made two of the Elliot Helen's Closet. Now what I did was, um, there's quite a few options in here. I, again, was looking in my stash and trying to use things up. So I made one like this, and I made one with the same length, but with the neck, the sort of cowl neck. Uh, this is a lovely pattern. Um, this is the first one, which is sort of the t-shirt. Now, I will say the neck's a bit high for me in a t-shirt, but... Um, I like the colors of this. It's fabric I've had for ages in my stash. It's like a navy blue and this yellow. Um, so that's the first one. And then the second is this, again, had it in my stash for ages. It's this lovely um, sort of stripey gray, don't know what you'd call it. Um, it's got kind of a pattern on it. Um, but yeah, that's the other one. So really, really nice. The last sort of top slash dress that I made was so for so frugal. And if you see my if you've seen my so frugal video, you will have seen this. I only managed one item, and I didn't even manage to post it. So there you go. Um, and it is this. This is a free pattern called the Alcoy dress, and I have to say, I am in love. This is a fantastic pattern. Now, I will say one thing. According to their sizing, I should have made, because I want to make anyone aware of this. So according to my body measurements, I should have made a 2X or a 3X. But when I looked at the finished garment measurements, I made the biggest size, which is the 4X. Now, I think there's, yeah, the sizing's weird, but just look at the measure, like the measurements, just ignore the numbers. It does not matter um, because there's so much negative ease and I don't like tight things. So like I said, I made the 4X and I'm so happy. This is a viscose jersey that I've had in my stash for ages. And yeah, I made it. I absolutely love this and I absolutely will be making more. Um, it's just this, I think this is a nice viscose jersey as well because it's not too thin. But yeah, I absolutely love this pattern. I would just, yeah, caution anyone to look at the finished garment measurements and just figure out like how you like things to fit. I did not want it to be too clingy and it to me, the what I went with is sort of perfect. So yeah, this is a free pattern. It's a fantastic pattern. It's by Wiscom 
wiscom.com and highly, highly recommend that. Four items left. Hang in there. Next, Hudson Pants True Bias. Very basic, but I wear these all the time at home. And I wanted a pair in black. And if you have seen my fabric haul from Katoon, you'll know I bought some fabric, um, some black, um, really nice, lightweight French terry, and that is them. And there's nothing more to say about that pattern, because if you haven't heard about it, I don't know where you've been. The last three items are all my favorite, one of my favorite, the Nina Lee South Bank sweater. Now, the first fabric, again, I bought this fabric from Katoon. Um, you will see a fabric haul video on my channel. Um, it's a German fabric store. This is the wide, wide rib knit. I have to be perfectly honest and tell you that this looks awful on me. It, the wide rib, it, it's like, this is like three sizes larger than the normal one. It's just, and I don't know if it's cause it has this sort of like, I mean, you can even see it in the neck. See how it's all wavy like that? It's just so, it's like so, it's way too stretchy, like to make something like this. Um, I might put it in the tumble dryer and see what happens, but I shall not be buying this fabric again. But yeah, so this was the only possible disaster, but it wasn't, it was a fabric disaster. The next one I made is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous one. I say gorgeous because I've had this, in, you know how you like you get fabric and you sort of save it for best and then you're like, why am I saving this for best? Just use it and wear it. And that is this one. So this is a beautiful, it's, you can see it's sort of the gray on the inside. It's incredibly soft. I don't, I think it's hundred percent cotton. It seems to have grown quite substantially. I did wear it once and it's, it's just soft and comfortable. I'm not sure how amazing it looks now that it's grown, but, um, yeah, lovely. I did this one with the, the band, the cuffs, this one here, the Katoon one that I say is somewhat of a disaster. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough for the cuffs. So you've got this like wavy hem band as well, which is rather annoying. And you can see even with the arm, look how long the arms are. It's like, it's just all out of shape. Um, I haven't even worn it. I need a cup of tea, a drink of tea. Okay, the last item is this lovely, lovely, sort of raspberry rib knit that I got when I was in the US from I think Join Fabrics. See, look at this. Look at, I mean, this is with the headband, I guess. So maybe if there was no headband, it would look just as long as the other one. But this is lovely fabric. I should have gotten this in other colors as well. I really, really like it. And this is also a um, South Bank sweater. That is what I've been up to. That's why I've been so quiet. Um, yeah. Now I have also purchased a few patterns. Let me grab those. Okay. So I have purchased just, what is it? Four patterns in the last month or so, I would say. And um, I, I purchased these probably quite a while ago, but I get them printed in the UK by Pattern Z and then they get sent to me. So there's always a bit of a delay because obviously they're sent from the UK to Italy. The first one I got is this lovely new Helen's Closet pattern, which I just thought was so cool. It's the Wildwood. It's a quilted jacket with lots of different variations. Um, I thought this could be a good contender for the quilted black and white check that I got in the States, but uh, despite it absolutely heaving with rain right now, we're entering spring. So it's a little bit, so I probably will hang on to this and possibly think about this um, as we get towards autumn, but I really love this pattern and I thought what a fun one as well to like make up using scraps. So I'm gonna give that a try. I think I um, bought these next two in waves and while we're having a birthday sale, I think they're 40% off. The first are these, they're crosswalk shorts. My son um, is kind of getting more into like non-stretch clothing. Um, and so, Here's the variations here. Um, but just, yeah, fun woven short pattern. And of course, this is, goes in from newborn to 12, which is most waves and wild patterns. 
And then I also bought myself just some very standard pajama pants. Um, here's the, the different views. Um, but yeah, just your standard pajama pant for knits. And then the last one I bought because um, when I ran my thousand subscriber giveaway, the woman who won um, selected the Itch to Stitch Causeway Bomber Jacket. And I, when I bought that for her, I thought, oh gosh, that is lovely. And so I bought it for myself. What I really like is this detail here. Um, I, you could color block, I probably won't. I suspect the pockets sort of um, fit in the sides of this cutout piece. But yeah, I thought that was a pretty cool jacket, um, certainly for spring and fall. And then last, I would like to thank the lovely Adam from Adam Sews for sharing this lovely pattern he's just brought out with me. This is the hipster bag pattern. And um, I've seen a few made up. They're lovely. I think it's such a versatile pattern because you can wear it in lots of different ways and um, keep hands free, which I like. So thank you so much, Adam, for sharing this with me. I am very excited to get it made up when I get back from my holiday. But yeah, it's a, um, it's a sort of, you can wear it across the body like I showed the um, other uh, bag. Um, and this one is probably a little larger. So actually, in a sense, more useful. So it says it's eight inches by five and five wide by five and a quarter tall and two and a quarter deep. And what I do like is, of course, the ability to, um, you know, you can, um, you can quilt it, you can use fabric scraps, and yeah, quite fun. And um, Adam's directions are always very good, and so I'm going to have a go at that. But thank you so much for giving that to me, Adam. I really appreciate it. This is a long video, so if you're still here, thank you. Um, yeah, so hopefully that wasn't too boring. I would say very basic, simple patterns, but um, things that I definitely need in my wardrobe as we're sort of transitioning to the spring and summer. Um, things get hot here fast. So like spring and fall, I would say, are short months or short seasons. So I would say like spring here is like April. March, maybe, March and April, but like come May, I mean, we we go swimming in our swimming pool in May. So that just says that to us, May is summer. So I need to keep pumping out the summer stuff. Um, but plans for the upcoming week, I have no idea. Like I said, I'm going away in the next couple of days and I will be gone for a, a little over a week. So I have no idea what I'll be sewing, but you can be sure I will let you know once I have sewn up whatever it is I may sew up. So thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for anyone who subscribed or liked my videos. I really appreciate it. And I always love chatting with anyone in the comments. If you have any comments, questions, I'd love to hear from you. I would like to thank you so much for joining me today and I hope you're all well and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.